What's up, my friends? It's c 3 with a song writing tip for you. And this is specifically based on feedback from the video that I posted recently about asking for uh, feedback of what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. And a number of you um, upvoted someone who suggested songwriting tips. And then deeper in the comments, someone specifically mentioned, how can I write a song that sounds different from a different song that I wrote? How can you feel inspired differently as you progress in your in your songwriting so that you're not writing the same song over and over again just with maybe slightly different chords or in a different key or something like that and just taking a look at the example of um, some of my songs that I've uploaded to YouTube so I've got um, let it snow which is a kind of a pop punk alternative rock song very straightforward distorted guitars in your face drum beat um, the I Need Air song that I recorded in the car, very similar vein as Let It Snow. Um, just guitars in your face, upbeat, alternative rock sound. And then there is, where is it? Nostalgia. This is a song that is, has a very different feel to it. It's very piano heavy, a slower beat. It's got some more thought out guitars as far as the notes that they're hitting they're very deliberate slower notes there's very few moments where the guitars are distorted um, so just overall has a different feel and in fact the first if we go way back in time one of the first videos I had on my channel autumn birds in fact I remade it a little over a year ago but if you scroll to like my very first video essentially four years ago I made a song called autumn birds that had a different feel to it so what makes them sound different? To cut to the chase and tell you, um, it's that I was listening to different types of music at the time that I was writing certain songs. A lot of the songs that I write, I can pinpoint the exact song that inspired me to write a song that I wrote. Whether it was a very simple chord progression with a beat, and then I took that and ran with it and made something entirely new, or the tempo of the chorus with a lot of its um, beat and chord progression like those kind of things inspire me to write a particular song so I I want to uh, just l I'll go through a couple of these songs here and tell you what song I was listening to when I was inspired to write a particular song that I ended up writing so let's go back in time um, let it snow it was my very first video on YouTube five years ago I redid it just this past winter but it's it's exactly the same song, I just re-recorded it so it sounded better. Um, so let's listen to it for half a second. This song was directly inspired by a Reliant K Christmas song. And the only similarity was that it was a Christmas song and that it had the same, kind of the same guitar rhythm. I then started listening to Copeland a lot. It's a band I've liked for a long time, um, but I started uh, listening to some of their albums that I haven't, hadn't really dove into very much. And I came up with the song that I used in my second video um, called Autumn Birds, which the song ends up, I re-recorded it and uploaded it. So th that rhythm was directly inspired by a Copeland song. You hear that um, bass? Do -dum. Do -dum. Do -dum. Do -dum. Dum -dum. Just a very simple part of a rhythm with the chord progression that lasted all but two seconds in this song was what inspired, inspired, inspired the feel of my song Autumn Birds. If you want to be able to write songs that sound different, you need to start listening to different music. It borrows a little bit of inspiration from other songs and then I just start writing it and it becomes my own thing. When Copeland released their newer album, it came out 
a little over two years ago now, that album came out and I don't think I listened to anything else for, I don't know, like six months. And as a result, my song Nostalgia happened. And the only thing that directly inspired my song Nostalgia was the rhythm of my favorite song off of that Copeland record. So there's a song called Disjointed, and it has, I'll, I'll let you hear like a half second of it. So that that rhythm where there's a lot of snare hits, essentially, or offbeat hits, and really no kick drum hits, it's just kind of this offbeat rhythm that goes through, that inspired nostalgia that has a really offbeat sound. Another song that I wanted to mention uh, is one called Maritime that I uploaded a couple years ago. It's a short instrumental, about a minute and a half instrumental song. And it's interesting because the reason I called it Maritime is because there was a band called Maritime that released an album that I bought and listened to quite a bit around the time that I decided to write this song. Um, this song just has kind of a similar feel to that whole album. As you can hear, this has quite a different sound than the alternative rock songs that I've made or Nostalgia or any of the other songs. It's just a little different. That's because I was influenced by a band that's, that's in a different genre with a different sound. Am I telling you that if you really like metalcore, all of a sudden you'd need to start listening to country so that you'll start getting inspired differently? No. And I'm not saying that, I mean, you could listen to other bands in the same genre, but you probably already do that. So here is, here is the suggestion. If you want to discover more inspiration that will, I think, directly feed your inspiration to write original content and original songs would be to see who inspires the bands that you listen to. In the case of Copeland, the, uh, the producer slash singer slash plays a lot of the instruments, Aaron Marsh, his favorite band is Radiohead. I can see a lot of the similarities between the two bands, but that is one way to, I think, get to the source of inspiration is to figure out what bands your bands listen to and what inspires them. Like Reliant K was heavily influenced by the Beach Boys. Haven't spent a lot of time listening to the Beach Boys but a band that's similar to the Beach Boys and was around the same area is the Beatles. And everything is influenced by the Beatles. So basically, this video, the answer to all life's problems is just listen to the Beatles and you will be directly inspired to come up with something original. That's not actually the point that I'm trying to make in this video. I think I've made the point. Figure out what bands you like. I'm sure you know the answer to that. And then look them up on Wikipedia. Watch interviews. Figure out what bands inspire the bands that you love and listen to those bands. And when something stands out to you as unique or cool or a, a rhythm or a beat or a chord progression or a melody that the lyrics, um, you know, the singer does on top of a chord progression that you maybe have never heard, when that stands out to you as like, that's really cool, go write a song. Maybe take an element or two from that. Don't copy and paste it, but draw some inspiration from it and just like let it flow and make it happen and make it as simple as you want up front. Make a verse, chorus, verse, bridge, chorus. Like you can do the stereotypical song progression if you want to and then feel free to afterwards to take a harder look at it and say, okay, now what can I do to spice this up, make it a little different? But it starts with being inspired, I, I would say, by listening to, uh, to other artists. Branch out a little bit and stop listening to the exact same stuff all the time. Listen to the bands that inspire the bands you listen to. Listen to other bands that are similar, but maybe different enough that it's just kind of takes your musical tastes in a different direction for a while. But I do occasionally love to branch out and like learn about a band and learn, like listen to their albums and, and see how the band evolved and see who inspires them and what their lyrical content is about. And you do that and you start just naturally, I think, being able to write better music, more unique sounding music, and stuff that isn't just the same old, same old as all the stuff that you've already written up to this point. That's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. Please 
let's have a discussion below. If you've got other songwriting tips, or if you found anything particularly helpful, or if you would just like to simply add something to what I've said, or something stuck out to you that you want to share your bit of knowledge on, let's have a little discussion down there and talk about it. And that's it.